this is Bonsai or known as Excel. And there's a specific part of the game that just kind of blew my mind. And I was just like, man oh man, I've never been so scared in a game. And that's what a lot of games are missing nowadays. Jump scares. And I kind of get sick and tired of jump scares where like it's just like opening the door like all the time and man oh man it just gets kind of annoying but I gotta say Last of Us 2 it's it's a pretty good game it's worth your money if you want a game that feels like I don't know you want to watch a movie but I should wait over time and pick this up when I have the extra time and I swear to god I really love The Last of Us 1 and The Last, Last of Us 1 was pretty damn legit I loved it so much and at this moment I'm just looking around just browsing and I just come into this room and I was just like okay there, there's blood right there and I was like oh crap what the hell There's just blood on the wall and whatnot. I was like doing the usually same thing over and over, just search and find materials. And I was like, "Ooh, yeah, Emma, I'll take that any day." Ooh, delicious, man. That man had a little bit too much Kool-Aid, but you know, that's the thing. And I was just scanning through the area, and at this point, I was like, "Holy shit! What the hell was that?" Jesus Christ, that gave me a heart attack. And I love these sort of jump scares where it's just like, man oh man, I've never seen something like that in a game. And I wasn't prepared at that specific moment. And I swear to God, man, I, I just got like that, that new type Gundam type of feeling. I was like, oh shit, I know something's gonna pop out of nowhere. And I'm like, I'm ready for the the animation right here that just pops me up. I'm ready for it. Come on, I got a shotgun that's gonna blow to pieces. And at this point I'm just like, okay. Where the hell is it? It is so goddamn crafty too. And I'm just looking at every little corner. Cause I'm I'm not even sure what the heck I'm up against. That's what I love. I love the fear factor. I love the jump scares. I'm just like double checking everything. I was just like, oh, I'm not sure what the hell's going on. And when I saw that sign right there, I'm like, goddamn freaking restroom? You gotta be kidding me. And you know how out, like every single horror game comes out. I'm just double checking, making sure nothing pops out in the sides right here. I'm not even sure how that thing rolls, man. I saw foot prints on the ground I wasn't sure what what was going on right here now I'm just over here I'm like it's gotta be in the restroom whatever it is it's in the restroom I can sense it I'm like oh shit another body Not good. And at this point I was like oh yeah this this is gonna be something it's gonna be something freaking mean I was like, I'm gonna think ahead, I'm gonna just throw some goddamn freaking Molotovs in here, you know, just drown his sorrows with the alcohol. But at that point, I was drowning my own sorrows because I just wasted two Molotov bottles. And I'm just like, alright, maybe the maybe the body's dead. Maybe it's in here. Somehow, I'm just like double checking. I wasn't sure what the heck I was up against. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me this is not like the movies and that's what I love like I love it when a game just throws something that you are not used to like I remember I played Dead Space and god damn I love the game 1, 2, and 3 amazing horror games if you want to play horror games play that or Resident Evil games those are really nice I know some of the Resident Evil games weren't so good. Right now, I wasn't sure how that thing works. You know, I wasn't sure how whatever that creature is, the thingy, the thingy was. 
running around. That mother flipper's on damn shrooms. He's on a Kool-Aid spree and I'm not interested. I'm running around just double checking. I wasn't sure. I was like, okay, come on. Where is this thing? And then I believe on the map I saw this icon. I'm like, alright. It's probably going to be over there. With the footprints. I wasn't sure what the heck I was getting myself into. And, you know, I, I wanted to check outside the door, outside the light. Majority of the time, I never see any jump scares in the light. It would have been like a really good opportunity. moment I'm just like okay I'm gonna go to that section and do something really drastic see what the heck is going on and I'm literally checking the ceilings and I'm checking like every little crack in case if it doesn't come out I'm ready for the walls I'm ready for whatever it does now at this moment I'm just like okay um you expect me to go in that dark little place you call horror I'm ready for that open story come on bring it and I was using the the sense right there I wasn't sure what was going on I was like oh my god Jesus I thought it was only one of a kind there's multiple and I was like tripping out I wasn't sure what the heck is going on apparently in this game it's called freaking a specific monster I believe it's called a stalker and I just really feel stalked like I I love it when I feel stalked because I just love that feeling I had a place of goddamn mine right there because I have no clue what are these things capable of I don't even spot a single one I'm just tripping out I was like oh my god I have to fight all those I'm just looking around and then I see one I was like oh what the hell and I literally turned off my flashlight and it wasn't there and it was behind there I was like oh my god that would have been trippy if it just like completely disappeared that would have been such a game changer but man oh man now I know that creature whatever it is it gets it gets shot out pretty damn good I know I can count on a shotgun so I'm gonna use the shotgun because I'm not sure what these things are capable of I'm not sure a surprise factor that thing tried to rush me and I'm just trying to get into the the groove, you know. I'm trying to get these infested little goddamn critters. And this man just popped out of nowhere. And that's the crazy thing about these goddamn creatures. They literally just like come at you when you're not looking at them. And that's a really cool addition to the game. I was like, oh man, that was really badass. And at this point, I was just like, well, I'm not sure how many there are. And I swear to God, it kind of felt really trippy. My head feels like a goddamn freaking raisin right now. My head is strained. These guys are. They're wild things. They've been having too much of those Mario mushrooms. That little fungi right there. I was trying to get a little good aim, but like. My gun kind of swivels. That's what I love about this game, but I was able to nab that man. And at 
at this point I'm just like I think the whole area is clear and I saw one just pass by over there I'm like okay there's another one how many there are <laughs> how many are these goddamn things in here and that's a crazy thing like you just jump into these situations not knowing how many there are in that situation I was able to nab that thing and I was like, okay, I'm gonna rush and see if I can get anything he's like trying to hide over there. And I'm like, oh my god, that's another one? Okay. These things kinda got a little bit crazy at the moment. I went after this guy and there is another one hiding right there. I was like, oh my god. Three of them? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that amount. And these things are pretty damn insane. They were all waiting for me. Like, they were all waiting till I was coming out of that specific moment. But man, oh man, I was just. I just jumped when I saw three of them at the I was like, oh man. That's nonsense. That's insanity. I like it. You know? I felt like this game needed a little bit more of that. You know, it's just the. Oh man, it would have been cool if they added more monsters in this game. If they added more monsters where it's just freaky or trippy or. Like, it would have been cool if they added like some weird looking fungus tentacle thingy or like a really crazy looking design or something that just spider crawls on the floor. Like it just comes from the bottom floor. That'd be cool. I was able to nab that thing. I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. And damn. And I believe at this point I was sure the close is clear, but you never know. <laughs> I just love how my character she was just looking at this. Joel would be proud of it. Yep, and that was a level design. Really nice. I freaking love it. You should do things like that.